Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So right here I'm using Too Faced Hangover Primer and I primed my face. And now I'm going in with my Lancome Tint Ultra Wear in the shade Bisque. It does look a little orangey, but once I put my highlight and everything on, it blends in fine. So I'm going in my with my Revolution Concealer in F8 and I'm just putting that underneath my eye. And now I'm going in with my RCMA and I am baking. Now I'm, and then I'm just putting my MAC um my back, MAC powder all over my face. So for this look, I'm gonna use my B Bella Cosmetics Girl Ugh, Go Pro Palette, and I'm gonna start off in the shade Transparent. But before I do that, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put Soft Orchid all over my lid with my finger. As you can see, I forgot and I was like, whoa, back it up. So putting Soft Orchid all over my lid with my finger. I was watching Say Yes to that dress. Do you guys watch, like watching that? The experience of buying a wedding dress was terrible. Because you have something in mind and you you see other stuff and you're like, what the fuck? So I'm using this Juvia's, Juvia's Place brush. And um, if you guys don't have a lot of brushes, I would definitely check them out. I love this brush. And now I'm going in with transparent all over the lid. And this is my Royal and Langnickel brush. And I'm just packing that transparent color all over the lid. Just this is going to work as a base. and Well, setting my base. So my eyeshadow doesn't crease. And now I'm going to go in with the color Sunset. And I am using my... Morphe M518 brush and I'm just going to blend that out. Side sweep motion and then circular motion to buff that out. If you guys haven't checked out um, B Bella, ugh, I can't talk today. B Bella Cosmetics GoPro palette, definitely recommend. It has your shimmers, your glitters, your grays, your smoky, your browns, your corals and oranges, your purples. It's it's a good palette. I got this at um I got this at uh and at 69 seminar. So I'm just blending that in. Again, this was the color Sunset, if you don't have this palette, I would say Sunset reminds me a lot of Saddle from MAC. And I know you guys use Saddle as your transitioning color. Sorry, I had to look at that dress. It was pretty. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe E28 no, this is not the E28. This is the more... No, I'm using my MAC 217 brush right here. And I'm going in with the shade Crimson, which is more of an orangey color. Wouldn't say orangey, but it's more of a warm color. And you can see I'm packing that in underneath the color that I previously put. And I am blending that out. The reason for all this translucent powder underneath is to set my concealer and to also catch any fallout. You gotta bake. So blending that out. And I'm so happy I did two freaking videos in a week. What? And little by little, I'm learning how to edit. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe E28 brush. And I'm going in with the color Berry. This color is so pretty. It's like a wine color. And I'm putting packing that on lower. When I mean lower, I mean underneath the shade I previously put.
and I'm blending that out. And when I want to go back and blend it more, I go in with the brush previously that I used and I don't put any more product on it. So if you see me switching out brushes, it's because I'm trying to blend. So I'm going to do the same to the other side with that berry color. You guys, if you guys haven't checked out this brown, it's really good and I don't think it gets as much hype. Well, it probably does, but I mean, I don't know. I had it and I put it away. I used it once, I put it away, and then after I was like, no, I need to use this again. So now, as you can see, I changed brushes because I'm going to clean this up. Again, no product. Now I'm going in with this flat dome brush and I'm going in, I pointed at that color but I didn't end up using that color. I ended up using the color foil and I'm just under, I'm putting it under my brow, lo brow line so that way I can highlight it and it's not too much of a shimmer, it's just perfect. I think you could see it on this side more when I put it on. And now I'm going to go in with... with a flat brush and I'm going in the color bay which is a like a metallic -y, pinky purple color and I'm putting that all over my lid this color is so pretty you can see it's like a pinky blue undertone with like purple. It's really pretty. So then again, I'm going to go in with the color berry and pack a little bit more of that on. And now I'm going to go in with my... Morphe E18 and I'm going in with the color berry and I'm putting that underneath my um, eyes and as you can see I don't go all the way and I, I do tend to bring it out I like it to look pulled out but I don't like that line look that line look is like back in the days I don't know I, it's not my cup of tea so then I go and I blend that out I like it to look I don't like it to look sharp. It's just, it reminds me of like 2010 or something. Like when you did a blender eyeshadow. It's my preference. To each his own. If you like it, kudos. So again, doing the same thing to the opposite eye. As I was looking at the back of this palette, I guess B Bella Cosmetics is Beauty Creations. So you can find it at www. I dropped it. You can find it at www.beautycreationcosmetics.com. So now I'm going in with my Lorac pencil in the shade Rose Bronze. And I'm putting that in my waterline. So now I'm going in with my, oh my god, sorry for the traffic guys, my window's open and you can hear everything. Again, I'm going in with Berry and adding more. Ow. 
adding more berry, darkening it up a little bit, packing that color in and blending it out. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I'm using my Tarte Mascara and Lights Camera Lashes. I love this mascara. And I like to curl and apply mascara before I apply my eyelashes. So I'm going to use Coco Lashes in the 5th Avenue, in the style 5th Avenue. These are really kind of dramatic, but they're very pretty. So again, when my lashes are new, I like to flex them. And I'm using my favorite eyelash glue. I like to let my lashes dry and not put them on so wet. You want them to dry so they can get tacky. So I'm going to speed up this part because, you know, putting lashes on takes a little bit of time. So I'm not going to drag you guys through it. I'm just going to speed through this after I put glue on. So placing my lashes. Dusting off my transparent powder. And now I'm going in with Sun Bunny from Too Faced. And I am putting my bronzer everywhere. And I'm now I'm going in with Tawny from Anastasia. And darkening that up. And I'm putting on my blush from Desert Rose from MAC Cosmetics. And now I'm going in with Vintage Black um, Pencil. And I'm darkening the top of my eyelashes. To give that nice blend effect with your lashes. Sorry for the traffic. I should have closed the window before I started recording myself talking. So now I'm going to use this Beauty Creations Big Pops. So I guess Bella Cosmetics and Beauty Creations go hand in hand. So I'm going to use their highlighters. I bought this and hadn't tried it and I was so impressed. So I'm using my favorite highlighting brush which is the Morphe E610. Look at that, guys. And my brush is not wet. And look at how much highlight is popping. So I'm putting that all over my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and above my eyebrows. Yes, look at that highlight. Oh my god, like my meatball would say, yes, bitch, yes. Shout out, meatball. So now I'm going in with a little bit of highlight in my inner corner tear duct to give it that pop. And I don't know what the hell I'm looking for. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Beauty Creations, and this is in the shade 17 Sweetheart. But first, I am going to line my lips with Morphe Zippy. Can we take a moment to appreciate the highlight? <laughs> so I'm going in with Zippy. Lining my lips. And now I'm going to go in with my Beauty Creations. Um, this is considered a long wear matte lip gloss. And I have had it on since about 8 a.m. And it's still on. I did eat. I did drink. And it's still fully on. 
it just has a more tacky feeling so when you do um pucker your lips together it does kind of stick like a lip gloss but it doesn't look ugly or like cakey or anything so now I'm going in with my mascara and I'm going to put mascara on the bottom lashes and I like to put a little bit of mascara on the top of my falsies just to make it more blendable And of course, every look isn't completed until you spray your Mario Badusco spray, my favorite spray. So just spray that. Fix my, my hair. And there you go. I hope you guys like this look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Until the next video.